What's going on internet? Eric Bandles here with Beard Brand and today I'm going to talk about why I hate having this beautiful long beard. All right, so uh, yeah, man, founder of Beard Brand, uh, the greatest beard care company on the face of the planet, and I got a pretty long, gnarly beard. As uh, many of you guys who have followed my journey know, I've been growing this out for about 14 months. And I've kind of shared like throughout those videos the frustrations I have with the longer beard. Personally, I feel like uh, about six months or shorter is going to be my perfect beard length. Is that a long beard? To a lot of people, yes. It's going to be a bigger beard than what most people wear. But when I think of long beard, I think of about, you know, like anything longer than six months, really anything longer than a year's worth of growth is going to be a long beard. Now before we talk about what I hate about having a long beard, let's first talk about the things that I like. And particularly the biggest one is the big beard itself. I love having something that is noticeable and recognizable and something that is like no one else in the room. It's very rare that I go out and I run across another person who's got facial hair this long. So being able to tie a really long beard with a pretty gnarly hairstyle and a big old mustache and some cool clothes, I feel like I've got a look that very few are able to duplicate. And I, I like feeling unique. I like feeling like I'm my own person. I like having my own kind of style. So the big beard really accentuates that. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, that is like pretty much the one reason why I like having a beard. Nah, well, you know what, let's take that back. I do like to stroke it. You know, like I think having a good long beard, it's nice to stroke. Uh, when the wind blows, you know, it just feels really cool on your face to have like a beard blowing in the wind. That's not a feeling that you get with a shorter beard. And I definitely dig, you know, the wind blowing in the beard feeling. If you've never experienced that before, it's definitely, um, you know, worth growing a beard just for that. And I guess, I, I guess uh, there is probably one other thing. I, I appreciate like, uh, you know, the appreciation within the beard community. You run into another guy who does have a gnarly beard, you kind of do the beard nod, you know, you recognize like, well done man, cool beard. It's like, uh, you know, like a little fraternity out in the world. I think that's pretty cool as well. But this video is not about why I love my long beard. It's about why I hate it and uh, why I'll be shaving it off in a short period of time. So the biggest thing for me is like, personally, uh, I recognize that there's some parts that are really great, like the mustache, you know, very few people can grow a mustache like this. Uh, the beard, it comes in pretty full and thick right up front. Uh, the downside is my cheeks are a little bit finer, a little bit thinner, a little bit finer and thinner here. And uh, you know, the, the front of my chin will hit terminal actually pretty short. So right around, uh, I would say right around the, the four to six month mark, you know, these front hairs are, are kind of like going through their cycle, they're shedding. And what that means is as the beard gets longer, it really starts to develop uh, kind of the French fork. Unfortunately, with all the things I've learned through actually being the creator of this channel or watching Greg's videos, I've learned to kind of tame uh, the French fork, so I, I don't really get that as much this time around, but uh, I don't really like that look. You know, I wish uh, for having a bigger, longer beard, I wish that uh, it was a little bit fuller, a little bit thicker, a little bit denser, and if that was the case, I would probably be more apt to continue keeping it long. The other things I hate are like, you know, like when it gets so big, you just, you just can't see the whole beard. Like, you know, like what, what's going on over here? I have no idea or here you know it like it does i assume it does weird things it, it feels like it's doing weird things over there if i'm like trying to to shave it like it's downright impossible like unless i got like 20 mirrors set up or something like that um if i want to if i want to trim something under my neck or if i got like a, a zit or something i need to attack I, you know i don't know how to get there like you you try to you try to pull the beard up and then what happens when you pull the beard up, it like actually covers your eyes. I mean, let's just, so you go like this and like, I literally, I, I can't see through my beard. I don't know, can you all tell that? Or like, I'm looking at you through beard hair right now. 
And did you hear that? I don't even know if you heard that because my, my mouth was covered by my hands. But yeah, I don't even know uh, how you can kind of get down in there. The other thing that I hate is, you know, like you can groom it, you can tame it, but the longer a beard is, the reality is the maintenance levels go up. Um, there are a lot of different things you can do, a lot of different techniques you can do, but it just takes a little more time, you know, a little more expertise with the hair dryer or the heated brush. And, uh, you know, some days you just kind of have like bad beard days. Like it just doesn't do what it does. And then like when a beard is this long, when it looks bad, it looks really bad. And, you know, I, <laughs> I'm a low maintenance guy, you know, like I, 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 I don't like to put too much time into my effort, but at the same time, I want to look cool. So having a high maintenance beard uh, and a low maintenance lifestyle don't really mesh. So having a little bit shorter beard means that I can put lower maintenance in it, but still leave the house looking pretty gnarly. Now this next point is uh, less about having a really long beard and more about having a really big mustache. Now. I could have a really big mustache and a short beard. But, you know, for one, I think that kind of a big beard deserves a big beard. They play well together. Uh, if you got a big gnarly beard and like a really short, small mustache, then I think it looks a little out of balance. Or that's not the balance that I would prefer to have for my own style. So, by having a big beard, you really need a big mustache. By having a big mustache, like, holy moly guys, uh, I know I see the questions all the time, how do you eat with this? It does get frustrating from time to time, you know, like it does get annoying taking a big giant bite of a hamburger and then chomping down on your mustache or, you know, eating a, a bowl of cereal and then milk just kind of gets all in the beard. Like that stuff, like I deal with it and it's kind of part of the experience, but it does get annoying and tiring uh, from time to time. Now, the other thing with a really long beard is uh, like at this length, um, especially when it gets cold, when I z like I can't no longer quickly zip up my stuff without fear of like getting it. Like, what do you do with your beard when when you got to zip it up? I mean, it's nice to have a beard and it keeps my neck warm, but sometimes I want to zip my jacket all the way up, and then you're getting like beards like caught in the zipper or just you know pulled and ripped and all that stuff. My God, man, it's just like it's not the end of the world. Let's be real, first world problem, but. It's not an enjoyable feeling, I'll tell you that right now. Now the final thing is not really something that I hate, but it's something I just kind of wanted to point out. And it's it's really like the big reason that beer brand exists. And that reason is there's a certain stereotype for people who rock big long beards. And um, those type of people are amazing people. They're cool people, but they're not really like, it's not my person, right? It's not how I identify. I kind of view myself as, you guys know, the urban beers room. So I don't really like the idea of being lumped into a certain type of stereotype because I have a longer beard. Now I'm working to change that, you know, I'm not one guy to sit back and just let the world, um, you know, dictate the way I should be. Um, but you're always going to invariably run into that. You know, certain people are going to be afraid of your beard or not want to talk to you or feel like you're not approachable because you've got this giant beard on your face. Meanwhile, like, I feel like, you know, come talk to me. Uh, I'll go and tell you some, like, puns and bad jokes and maybe some inappropriate jokes too. And we can have a good time. But having a big beard like this kind of is like putting a wall up in front of you and you're a little less approachable. So uh, what do you guys hate about having a long beard? I mean, uh, do most of y'all guys have like really long beards or do you kind of, you know, learn from me, like you hit, hit a certain length and like this is my core length. For some guys, it's a year. Some guys, it's two years. Some guys, it's six months. Some guys, it's six weeks. I think uh, the important lesson is, you know, first of all, you got to grow a long beard to understand where that point is. And the second thing is, it's okay, you know, to rock whatever beard you want, you know, long or short. Uh, the length of your beard doesn't make you any more or less masculine than um, the, the length of anything else about you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let me know in the comments, what did I miss out on? What else sucks about having a giant long beard? Or what do you love about having a beard? As always, I appreciate the views, the subscription. Cheers.
Keep on growing. Stop, before you watch the next video, let me tell you, you are worth it. And what do I mean by that? I mean that you deserve to invest in yourself. You deserve to pamper yourself. You deserve to take care of your skin, your hair, your beard, and Beard Brand has your back with products, not just for your hair, your beard, and your skin, but also for your mind. 